wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new or not. And if you could subscribe and like and ring the bell to be notified and share and, oh, goodness. That's a lot of stuff. But just thanks for being here. <laughs> I appreciate it. So uh, it's Tuesday. The roof guys just went home. I think that they're building a whole other house up there because heavens to Betsy, what, uh, what and loud. Today they were super loud, uh, but they have promised that tomorrow it will be done. So that will be lovely, lovely. Um, so uh, now we just look forward to when our windows and doors come in and we might have a whole house again. <laughs> we with the new furnace and um it we got one one of those um uh it's like through ugh, can't say the words um it's the way to turn it up and down and everything you can use your phone and then it's got like a little screen and you can move it the temperature up and down you would laugh so hard at us both both of us actually are pretty tech savvy. Um, Lisa, honest to God, I really am. <laughs> um, we stood in front of that thing in the hallway trying to figure out how to make it colder and hotter. Uh, it, <laughs> we know now, but <laughs> that first time was a little rocky. So um, I don't have anything today. So we're going to just um, talk a bit. Uh, it's just going to be you and me. And uh, we're going to do some breathing, and I do have some questions. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I had hoped to have the door open because it's uh, the birds are very happy out there. But it's because I waited so long, it's a little bit close to people going home from work time. And uh, it's loud out there. So we can look at it, though. This is the time of year where everything just gets green. You know, it's like almost overnight. You wake up and it's like, oh my gosh, everything is just so green. And uh, that just makes me happy. I I always, my mother was, this is her time of the year. She just loved spring. Flowering bushes and trees and that kind of thing. And and I do love that. It's, um, I fall and winter are more my, my thing, but anyway. Um, let's go ahead and breathe. And since we have the time and nothing much to look at, uh, I think we'll do 15 breaths. Um, we haven't, we haven't box breathed in quite, quite a while. So, um, well, I think maybe we'll, we'll box breathe. So, um, as with every time, if this is not your thing, just fast forward right on through. Um, if you'd rather sit quietly and pray, that's awesome too. Uh, this is just going to help us, help us feel good about life and anything that can make me feel good about life at this point in time is really a blessing. So we're going to sit up straight as we can. I'm sitting on a little stool and so it's got to get all situated. We're sitting with our head to the sky, our butts to the earth, and we're right, we're floating right between in that lovely, lovely zone of no burden, just, just there. So we're going to take a deep cleansing breath, and then we're going to move right on to breathing, and we're going to breathe in boxes. And if you've not done this before, it's basically just four breaths to close the box. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, close the box. And it's just a way for your brain to, to um, busy itself while we're doing this instead of, uh, what am I making for dinner? And, um, you know, like, did I remember to turn off the iron and that kind of thing. So deep, deep cleansing breath. And here we go. So open the box. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Now on your own. One more box. Deep cleansing breath. Thank you, friends. I've, I have noticed that when I box breathe, as um, the time goes on, my boxes get bigger <laughs> uh, because I'm settling into it more and my breaths are longer. <laughs> so pretty soon I'm like, you don't have to use your arm, by the way. That's just me like giving you something to look at if you need to. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. So um, a real quick to... Angie Brantner, Angie, yesterday's video, I said that you were the winner of the So Yeah box, and I've not heard anything from you. Um, you have until tomorrow, um, because Rosemary <laughs> came through. But she understands, it's just painful. Um, so Angie, if you could like get with me pretty quick on, um, on this, I'd appreciate it. So, here are my, I'm going to, the first question is a really tough one for me, so I'm going to leave it actually to the last question. Um, but the next one is, have I heard y'all, you so you must be from this house, I didn't write who these were from, um, but um, I have heard y'all are NASCAR fans. My question is, who are your favorite drivers? Well, actually, we're F1 fans. Uh, and my favorite drivers for F1, um, I just can't let Lewis go. Uh, I know, I know he's probably an arrogant jerk, I, but uh, it, I'm really not, there's nobody, since uh, Vettel left, he was my, oh, I loved him. Um, so, but back to NASCAR. Um, I... Uh, Worked at a library at the time that Danica Patrick was in high school. And she went to high school in the district that the library was. And frequently came in, did projects. You know, she was Danica. I didn't know she was going to grow up to be somebody that was so um, newsworthy. But she was a very nice girl. <laughs> That's all I know about her. But for NASCAR, that was what I was thinking I thought she drove NASCAR. And I think at some point, maybe she did. But um, right now, she uh, does a lot of um, the interviews for F1. And and I like her. Oh, why am I doing one? Okay. Uh, next question. When were you diagnosed with Parkinson's? Um, I was diagnosed in uh, October of 23. I was di misdiagnosed. Um, something called essential tremors, uh, probably about a year before that. And then, um, it, it became clear that it wasn't just essential tremors. So, um, then I was diagnosed with Parkinson's. So, um, what breed is dandelion? Dandelion is an Australian labradoodle and they are different than, than an average doodle, like a a golden a golden doodle is a golden retriever and a a labrador dandelion is she has some labrador um but she's also got different kinds of spaniel and a, a bunch of different things her breed was 
um, established in Australia, hence the Australian Labradoodle. Um, so she's a doodle, but she's her own breed. <laughs> and how, if you can knew her, <laughs> she's her own breed of dog. <laughs> and oh, she is. Um, she uh, is also feeling much better, by the way. Um, her stomach is still a little, eh, but um, she is kind of back to doing her own, doing her usual craziness. Um, how many pounds is River now? I don't know. I think she's moving up on the six pounds. She uh, still has three days, four days. Five days <laughs> until it would have been her normal due date, and they, um, I I think they wanted six pounds by due date. Uh, so I'm I'm hoping she's in that general wave. She's a good eater, so uh, I'm sure she's gaining weight. Um, yep, her mom is breastfeeding. Um, she's breastfeeding and and pumping so that dad can feed also um he's the cutest dad in the world um just <laughs> it's just adorable so uh i am hoping to maybe uh wednesday get myself over there and be able to have some baby time i need to call kaisa so uh last question no next question how many grandchildren ch grandchildren do you have do they live nearby I have three children. They all live nearby. Um, my oldest daughter uh, is a profoundly handicapped, developmentally disabled, whatever word you like, as long as it's not the R word, I'm okay with it. Um, she has a number of problems. Um, I was 17 when she was born and uh, it was a road, I'll tell you. Um, yeah. That's all I'm going to go into with her. Um, then there's Carl, who is, then it would be the next one of Carl is, um, they probably don't want me to tell how old they are. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they, anyway. Um, and then his sister, Kaisa. Uh, Carl and his wife, Santa, um, moved into a house um, a couple years ago. And uh, just by happenstance uh kaisa and jake began looking for a house i don't know that it's been a whole year well probably close to a year and they found one on the street that carl lives on so they're like five houses up apart on the other side of the street <laughs> that's kind of funny um it's really good for the grandkids emerson and callum which i'll get to next are very close in age and so they run they have sleepovers you know i have seven grandchildren uh carl has four one two three four yes <laughs> um callum oh gosh is he 11 or 12 i don't remember with emerson either um and then judah who just had a birthday i think he's I, i'm sorry i'm terrible with how old my grandchildren are. Um, and then a year ago, July, they had twins, uh, Maisie and Maddox. Kaisa's kids, Kaisa has Cambria, who I know is 14 because 14 is a big deal. Plus I'm, is it fair to have a, 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 a favorite grandchild? It's not so much that she's my favorite. Well, she kind of, but um, my favorite grandchild, it's, no, her brother comes up real close. Never mind. Um, I love teenagers. I love them, love them, love them. And technology wise, we are able to communicate. She knows she'll text me, I'll text her. Um, and so I'm a, I'm a little closer with her because we can communicate in that way. Her brother, Emerson, is just, He's such a sweetheart. I Little boys sometimes can just, your heart, and he gives hugs like you can't, the best hugs ever. I adore Emerson. He's just, and uh, River, 
is the last one. <laughs> so uh, I don't think there'll be any more children. Uh, not that this was a difficult pregnancy, but I'm pretty sure she's not would not want to do it again. Um, so that is that is that. So the question that I had a hard time with is, what is one thing you wish you would have pursued that you hadn't? I don't know. I think it would be something, um, the, the dichotomy problem here is that I am, while I love the outdoors, I'm not a specific, a very physical person. But I think it would be something to do with a park ranger or a, some kind of a naturalist. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a professor of the environment or something like that. That I, I wish that I had chosen a path that would put me on that, that road. But um, as mentioned, I had Jessica at 17 and at that point, the path the path stopped <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so, so that's it. That's all the questions. That's all the everything. Um, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I hope that whatever your dreams were, that you've made them happen. I, I can't complain about my life in any way, shape or form. It's, it's everything that is necessary Did that, was that, it's a great life. You know, I have wonderful children. I have a husband that just, I can't even, he's just too much. Um, <laughs> he told me he was going to the grocery store. This was like 10 minutes ago. It's like, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I'm like, he's getting something for cook, to cook for dandelion. And I said, okay. And he's like, do you want anything? I'm like, eh, I don't know, I don't think so. So I came out in this room and I said, oh, cashews. So I call him up and I say, um, cashews, I want cashews. He's like, I'm still here. <laughs> He's standing behind me. That's the kind of stuff you, you just, we're, we're such good friends and that's so important. So anyway, be well, be safe. I got nothing. I got no, no moment is in just, um, Find your joy. Love you, bye.